down in Portland, Oregon. New Year's Eve, guys. This is New Year's Eve. Seven degrees plus around Black Lives Matter. You tell me. He came up with the idea of taking these beautiful images, turning the plywood into canvases, and going using our photographic archive uh, to select some images of a diverse number of Oregonians uh, who have helped to make our history and to honor them by painting them on these plywood boards. Uh, we've seen such a great reaction. Kerry says Tristan's murals will be on display until next week. We tried to respond to the last vandalism by, by making lemonade out of the lemons, and uh, that's what we'll continue to do. And back out here live, you can hear the fireworks popping off. Uh, those have not let up. And, of course, they're being fired directly at the Justice Center and the Federal Courthouse building. That Damn. is probably one of the reasons that Portland police have declared this a riot. But they have yet to move in. Look at this hole. Look, look at that. Right out here on Southwest 3rd. A lot going on as far as those fireworks. And then we hear a lot of banging on the doors as well at the Justice Center. It sounds like people trying to pry their way in or get in somehow. They have not been successful. Uh, but, again, very active out here. This is on New Year's Eve, guys. Businesses or other institutions if they are vandalized in this way. Gary said that cleanup uh, just at the Oregon Historical Society can range in the thousands of dollars up to around $50,000 in damages just to put those boards back on, repair windows, clean up graffiti. So it can get quite expensive. So again, tonight, police have declared a riot. We have not seen them come in to break up the crowd, but they have a presence here. We'll keep an eye on things and keep you posted. Back to you. We'll keep you posted. That is for New Year's Eve, guys. We'll be back at you. Portland, Oregon.